Rosaban for fighthat.com, Dave Colwell, Andy Clement. Gutted, mate. Gutted. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a brilliant fight. I thought, um, well, so did everybody else. That's why it, it did about 9,000 tickets, you know? But unfortunately, sometimes they get in the ring and stuff doesn't happen. You don't go. I think, to be fair, eyes look like a rabbit in headlights. And, and he got caught with a right hand on the top of the head straight away around one. From then on, I just think he just wanted to get through the fight and he couldn't suss yeah. out how to how to win the fight with Lawrence's range and strength, physically strength. He was just bullying him and, and, and rushing him. But then, as far as Akole, Akole was smothering his work because he was too intent on bullying him and making it a physical fight. But it was smothering his work so he couldn't get his power shots off and he couldn't, you know, couldn't finish his job. It was a poor fight, but you know, it, it, it happens in boxing. Eddie said it was a fight definitely too soon, but one that had to be made. Was it too soon, really? You can say that, but if, if it had been, you know, a, a, Quick, sharp ending from Akole. Then you wouldn't have, you know, said that. If it had been a great fight that we all expected, you wouldn't have said that. It was just on the night. I think one man just was intimidated mm. as soon as he got over the first time, and I think the other man was just too intent on on ripping his head off. Whether that's a fight too soon or a few fights too soon, or as as a Coley would have changed his attitude. I, I don't know. It's only experience. Until if, if that wouldn't have happened to a Coley before him, then he's got nothing in his point of reference to learn from. Now he can learn from that. And the next time, if such a um, such a thing happens again, he can think about, oh right, I'm not going to smother, smother my work like last time. I'll take a step back and use my range, set the shots up, and then I'm going to get rid of him. Experience. Okoli obviously signed up with AJ's management. Yeah. Um, obviously, AJ sees some sort of potential in him. Oh, he potentially can punch. You know, any, anybody that can punch like he can and has got the, the range and everything like that has got potential. But did he do anything different to what, what we've seen in the past? Not really. Um, he went the distance, he went 10 rounds. Um, so he probably can, he can, in a fight that's going his own way, can go 10 rounds. But, there's, there's, there's still potential there, it's still the same, same, still the same fighter, it's still the same prospect. He's got more rounds under his belt, which he needed to go in. Tony Bellew was here, David Hay was here. Yeah, it was, it was good. Cool, calm, there was collected. Dylan, there was Derek, um, everyone was here. Yeah, it all went off. All went off cool. What's the plans with you at the moment? What's going on? I know we spoke now, about, we saw you a couple of weeks ago, but tr Tony in deep training camp now? Yeah, yeah, now we start proper on Monday. Uh, it's been ticking over, but now we, we kick off for real now. Um, all the, all the, all the work starts. Dave, enjoy your uh, my night. drive home. Are you driving? Yeah, he's playing football in the morning, isn't he? Oh. So, so, so the thing is, we've driven three hours to get down here, three hour drive to get back, and the fight was crap. It's one of those things, isn't it? You can't, you can't have it all. But uh, what I will say is. Cheeseman and Carlson Jones, that was a good fight. Was a good fight. Oh, well, I was going to say have a great night, but have a safe drive back home. Uh, catch up with you back at, back in your gym. Dave Cobble, fighthub.com, thank you very much.